There's a good chance that the love affair with Mike Tyson won't end for as long as I live. Probably a long time after the guy is gone, people will still look back, smile at the way he went about his work, at the way he seemed to just embody wrath. And they will always point to new guys and say, look, there's the new Mike Tyson. 53-year-old Mike Tyson, who's not that far off 54, he just showed a little clip of himself doing a little combination on the pads and a body belt. I do believe one to hook, dip to the side to get out of the way of the right hand, hook, hook, roll underneath the opponent's hook, boom, come over with the right hand. And he's got such an, uh, a rapport with fans and many young fans who will be getting into boxing, looking at this guy going, oh man, who's that guy? That you will have people still saying now, like, oh shit, send this guy into the <laughs> current heavyweight division and he's going to mess people up. That's not happening, but it shows you how much Mike Tyson means to people, the kind of connection he has. I've heard about an exhibition. I don't think he's... Maybe he will. It's got to be low-key. It's got to be against, ideally, somebody of a similar age. If he were to try anything, which I don't think he is, in the proper pro ranks, it would end disastrously. Let's not forget his last fight 15 years ago, 05, wasn't it, against Kevin McBride. I mean, he'd be kind of a journeyman by today's standards, wasn't he? And he managed to out-hustle Mike 15 years ago, so... Let's not get any crazy ideas about turning pro. But it just shows you that kind of connection he still has. But the takeaway I got from it is one that goes back to loads of old, great heavyweight champions. And that is that there remains something innate in a great heavyweight that never fully goes away. And it almost comes full circle to the classic bit of philosophy that Customato once gave Tyson. When speaking about his philosophy of how to cultivate fighters, he referred to the fighter as like a fire. Initially a spark. He said, I see a spark in a young man. I try and turn it into a flame. I turn the little flame into a fire. I keep feeding that and eventually it becomes a roaring blaze. And that was the perfect description of what Mike Tyson was. When Customato met him as a young man, lost, I think either his mother or his father had died, he'd been in juvie. A young man who had this incredible appetite for boxing and its history. And he just cultivated that little spark, turned it into a flame. And within a couple of years, it became a roaring blaze. That is exactly the T Mike Tyson spirit that people love, that is always going to resonate with people. But in that little clip he shared with us of him just hitting the pats, one, two, hook, roll under, boom, boom, roll under, right hand. He's not going to have the same kind of reactions. You can see he's not as quick, but there's a spark and there's an innate ability that remains. And it reminds me. Back in the day, the likes of Jack Johnson, who was the first ever black heavyweight champion of the world, when his great physique had become a bit withered with age, he'd still make these little mischievous entrances into gyms and teach young bucks just tricks that they wouldn't know. And no, he can't go rounds anymore, but if he can just get settled for a moment and show you, he would do some trick, he would confuse somebody, knock the hand out of the way, counter them, and good contenders would be like, what the hell? And it's just because he was able to access something just for a second that he could no longer sustain, of course, in a, in a champion situation. And it was the same with Jack Dempsey, who was one of Mike Tyson's heroes as a young man for his aggressiveness, for the way he just went at you at the first belt. And that is that when Dempsey, who had a, a restaurant in Broadway after his retirement, which was successful for many years, there was a story of him getting mugged by two little hoodlums back in the day in Manhattan. And he'd stopped dyeing his hair. He started to let it go gray. They tried to jump him and instinctively, he's not going to be good for rounds anymore, of course, but he goes into a crouch, he hits these guys and apparently they're incapacitated until the police come along. There's just something about the classic heavyweight champions 
something they can call upon. And you're seeing it now in Mike Tyson as he ages because he was the zeitgeist of his era. You saw him when he got introduced recently with Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis, uh, the latter, I mean, arguably greater in terms of resume, but they didn't capture that spirit, that thing that makes people want to watch boxing in the first place, which is what Mike Tyson did and continues to do. It's good to see him. He's still able to just, I'm sure, knock out some other truckers with no problem, even though he's smoking like a chimney these days. But what do you think about Mike Tyson's little flair? You see, you see the technique. A lot of fighters still can't throw that well. It tucks up so well. That's the kind of thing that's never going to go from him. Classic Mike Tyson.